Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Calmston Farm. I have finished the sorghum harvest on field 5 and got a lot of the sorghum taken to the uh, grain mill. I have got one trailer load put in the silo. I'm now in the process, I've got worker over on field 5 doing the mulching for me. Uh, we've, we've commenced mulching. I'm now going to do the harvesting here on field 1 of the canola. However, I'm going to do that with my harvester. I'm not going to use the least harvester for this. Um, I'm just bringing my header, obviously, down here. Chances are... I now have nothing... I, I, can, I can still tab into the Lambo. Good. Oh, here's our harvester. I'm going to put some juice in it. I'm going to go commence doing some canola harvesting. I've also purchased... Purchased another mulcher. Which I've not used before. It's a modded one. And I will be keen to give that a bit of a test over on uh, field one once we've uh, harvested the canola. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to set course play up to drive field one for me. Um, get him to do the uh, harvesting and unloading. I'm going to try it with um, a different harvesting method. I'm not going to have him going up and down. I'm going to see if he will do spirals. See if course play will do spirals. That way, pipe should remain out of the crop all the time. Edge of the map. Here be monsters, ladies and gents. Right, let's plot a course then. So we want create job. Force play field work. Field position. Having work on the top edge. 10.8 meters. Let's do 10. Four headlands. Yes. Smooth. Clockwise up and down. Now we're going to do spirals, you see. Leave it on automatic. Field margin. We will go a little bit bigger. Not by much. And that should hopefully keep pipe out of the crop. Right, what we want to do as well, this is field one, isn't it? So we want to set harvester to field one. Soon he's set to pre call level 50%. Might do 40. Let him start on the first waypoint. I want my. Typical tractor. This fella. So this fella's going to do field. 
one, two, arm silo, tip. It's going to be Ola, isn't it? He's driven into a tree, ladies and gents, straight away. Put him on the road. Hopefully. Don't know where the entry point is for field one. That's field two. Where field one? Where's the marker for field one? It's over here. Don't want it on field one, do we? Uh. Uh. Stop. We don't own field one, it's field two, ladies and gents. Which means I now need to actually go into the harvester again. And we need to change into field two. Sure what he's done there. So we'll move the we'll move the uh we'll move this fella. Probably not gonna need him. So we're just as I say, we're just doing uh We're just doing the silage to the uh the, the canola here to the um Canola's going straight to the silo. I'm not putting any in the um, oil factory at the moment because it's still got 20,000 litres in it. Um, so I don't want to mess with that. However, what I do want to mess with is the new mulcher. So I'm going to have a quick ride down to the store to collect that. And I can be mulching the canola behind the... Uh, Find the tractor, can't I? Get out of your way. Nice bit of passing there. wonder if I need to do any um, corners <laughs> on field five. Now, hopefully this should attach to this. Doors. However, I just need to make sure that is attached to the tow bar and not my actual tractor. 
that works better. Unfortunately, I can't get it in any other colour than orange. It only comes with the one colour choice, unfortunately, in the store menu. But we're probably not going to lose it, are we? That's one good thing that comes from it. So this is nine meters. So this is a little bit bigger, I think, than my current mulcher, is it not? Yes, three meters bigger than my current mulcher. So I'm just going to go around the field and just check that um, the other mulcher hasn't missed bits in the corners, basically. And Gerald's doing a good job with the mulching, although this guy is now coming past me. Probably want to do this when he's finished, really. Because I think he's missed a bit on that corner back there anyway, looks like, from where I'm sitting. Seems to be a bit of a pile up over here. This fella's in the way. I can't tab into the harvester. I wonder if he's clipping the trees, is he? Uh, I was going to check. Is he on self unload? No, he's not programmed to self-unload. That's all right. Tractor's moving. Because I'm going to be in his way now. Doesn't appear to be catching up with the combine at all, does he? I love all these tools, but it's a shame when they don't work as advertised. They don't do what they're actually supposed to be doing. It's all right having it's all fun and well, it's all good and well having these amazing script mods, but if they don't actually work properly. And do what they're supposed to do. It can actually be more frustrating than anything. It can.
I'm going to take this back to the farm, actually. We're not going to use this on this field, and I'd rather it be out of the way. Oh, no. Navigate round a few telegraph poles. better. He's waiting for the call. There's a call. Now moving. And do a lovely spot of mulching. Apparently I can do quite quickly now because I'm using the tow bar. I don't mind mulching the grass around the edge of the field. Not in the slightest. Most important thing is we've got loads of vehicles all in one spot. <laughs> doing the job can you believe it it's working now the tractors found the combine He's missing corners, though. Not terribly happy about. I 
difficult now. Get out of the way a bit. So yeah, the um, combine is doing the canola harvest. Like I say, we have got some canola in the oil mill already, so I'm not sure I'm going to be delivering any there yet today. Um, same with the sorghum. We've got 294,000 litres of sorghum in the flour fact grain mill. Got 251,000 litres of flour. So, what, what, what? The other 46,000 that I've harvested, uh, we will be selling that. Same with the 26,000 litres of barley. We'll probably sell that. And fields at seven. This fields at seventy-two. Environmental score. I can live with that. Where's the little fella? There. We're getting our mulch on. <laughs> the H value is good. 20 kilograms per hectare. So it's probably going to need some nitrogen. Well, yeah, this field definitely needs nitrogen, ladies and gents. So we're probably going to be thinking. Digestate, aren't we? Next task on that particular field. Come back to the farm through my uh, sunflowers. Haven't got the uh, tractor available, have I? Because mm, he's up on the header trailer. We need this fella to do the um, digestate spreading, don't we?
can't actually see again what I've got attached. There's a, it's a weird bug. I'm having to try and guess. Right now I know I've got the back bit selected. The next press selects the tractor. So I've been able to turn on my sensors. <laughs> Get your uh, organic fertilizer put back on. Field. Should definitely help. So it looks like the harvester is starting to do his spirals now. Which should be good. Because then the pipe will always be accessible to the... Uh, although I think he's just now driven into my tractor over there. Bear with me, I'm going to have to go sort out that pile up. <laughs> Just can't get the helpers these days, can you ladies and gents?
Tell you what, he's done a dreadful job of harvesting the corners of this field. Horse play. Again, I've said this a few times now. They really, I'm surprised the devs haven't fixed that yet. Because that's been in the game since the course play mod first come out. The, the helper has issues doing corners. I'm surprised they haven't worked out, come up with a solution for fixing that. Fine tuning their corner program. Somewhat their algorithm or whatever. It's pathfinding in corners. It's co corner generation of the course generation. Because they should really do a better job. Of harvesting corners and working corners of fields and not missing bits. Steadily increasing our nitrogen. And some lovely natural organic fertilizer. This one little bit so far. Well, he's not missed bits. It's just a graphical thing. For whatever reason, on that strip, it is fertilised there. It just hasn't replaced the texture. Does it on a few different parts of the field as well? Sometimes. Depending on what the nitrogen value actually is in that spot. Well, I've managed to do a headland, ladies and gents. Managed to get a headland done.
Here we go. We've run out of slurry. We've run out of digesting. Got to go for a refill. Good thing is, we're not terribly far away, are we? Chances are, though, when I get down to the tank, I've probably left that uh, metal tanker. I've probably left the tanker part. I can't see. Need to zoom in. <laughs> can't see for the trees. I've probably left that right in the fill zone, haven't I? Where I'm filling from. So I'll probably end up having to get out the ta tractor to move the tanker. Yep. Oh my lord, why do I do this to myself? Probably because I wasn't thinking. Ah, interesting there. Um, you notice my selector tool thingy only disappeared when I filled that tank up. It's something to do with this thing on the front then. When I put the digest, when I fill that, that's when I lose the information in the the top left as to what tool I've got selected. Hmm. Odd issue then. I think we can best summarise that. It's some mod issue, ladies and gents. Something to do with that um extra tank. When you've got that build, you lose the uh, information in the corner of the screen. So I've not used this particular tank before. I just figured it would be, even though it's, it's it doesn't give me a lot of extra, doesn't give me a lot of extra digest day. It's a little bit more capacity, which means hopefully I can get a little bit more of the field done before I have to refill. Because every bit of capacity helps when you're doing spreading jobs, fertilizing jobs. new watch once i've used the extra the extra liters the 6000 or whatever liters that this thing the tank gives me that information will pop back up in the top left of the screen so keep your eyes on the top left of the screen everyone as my um digest state goes down as soon as i go below 60000 liters it should pop back up i think Once we've used the expansion tank capacity.
There we go. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's connected to that tank then. For some reason, having that tank with the extra 6,000 odd litres of digestate in it breaks that precision farming screen. love these strange little bugs don't you you just love these strange little bugs in the game <laughs> i think they are fantastic Worker take over for a second. I'm just going to go chase the uh, combine. See how we're getting on with the harvesting. Uh, we seem to be doing all right. Officer's now clearly working on his spirals. That's going pretty well. Happy with that. This guy is doing his mulching. He's, he's working quite well. And this fella, I will just go and mulch the two bits on this field that he didn't do. But ladies and gents, we have reached the end of today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have... Please make sure you've given me that thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not doing so currently. Uh, don't forget to leave me your comments in the comment section down below. And uh, obviously share the video with everyone you can, everywhere you can. Across all your social medias and everything. Because that helps share the video and get it out there to even more viewers. Which helps me out as well. So ladies and gents, I will see you all again in the next video. But for now, from Carlston Farms and me, see Waddy, cheerio and goodbye. <laughs>